Hi, Debbie Smart here. Welcome to my channel where I talk about positivity, empowerment, and motivation for living your best life. Today I want to share with you three tips about how to be positive in a negative world. Tip number one, take a break from the news. We are inundated with the news 24-7, 365 days a year. Used to, we got the news on TV in the morning, at noon, maybe in early evening and at night. Even at night was kind of hard because a lot of times you'd hear some bad news and it'd be bedtime. That's not a great way to go to bed with bad news on your mind. And that's a lot how news is. It's a lot of how news works. They tell a lot of the more horrific or bad news stories and they do positive ones. When they do find a positive or happy story, it is very refreshing to me. But most of the time you hear bad news, bad news, bad news, then some good news about sports sometimes. And then the weather, well, you know, that can be bad or good. I have a friend who is very addicted to know what the weather is every night. And I have a friend who is very addicted to the news in general. But I would like you to challenge yourself to take a 24 hour break from the news. Tip number two. Tip number two is also about taking a break. This time it's about taking a break from social media. And I know that's going to be a real struggle for some of us. Taking a 24 hour break from social media. Can you take a break from Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook? I don't know. I'm not sure I can. Maybe we can't take a 24 hour break, but maybe we could take 12 hour break or a six hour break or a three hour break or even a 30 minute break. And if you're really, really addicted, maybe you can start with five, 10, 15 minutes trying to take a break from social media. We are very addicted to our electronics. I have a friend who calls her phone her electronic leash, and I certainly understand that because people nowadays, they just expect you to have your phone with you all the time and expect you to answer immediately. And if you don't answer, then they call back and they say, why didn't you answer? Well, maybe you couldn't get to the phone right then. My husband's even asked me, did I buy you a paperweight? No, you didn't buy me a paperweight. I just couldn't get to the phone. But they are very addictive. I'm addicted to the phone. I will admit it. And I'm sure some of you are addicted and don't realize you're addicted. But take a break from social media for a while. Take a walk around the neighborhood. Meet your neighbors. Maybe go to the movies and see a movie at the movie theater. Maybe get you some popcorn. Oh my goodness, I love popcorn. Popcorn and an icy, that is my ultimate guilty food pleasure. That's my very favorite, I think. What's your guilty food pleasure? Tell me in the comments below. For my third tip I'd like to share with you is to start your day off with a positive thought or a positive quote. It's really nice to start your day off in this positive manner. One of my favorite quotes is, it's a good day to have a good day. And then another quote I like is from the Dalai Lama where he says, one positive thought in the morning can change your mindset for the day. And that is so true. Our mindset is such a thing that we have to work on. But starting your day off in a positive manner, I just believe will make you happier. I'd like you to get sticky notes or index cards, or even if you don't want to use paper, put it on your phone. But write down 31 different positive quotes or positive affirmations, and you'll have one for each day of the week to read to yourself. Start your day off with this positive quote or positive affirmation because you are worth it. You are worth having a positive day and a happy day. You are worth it. My final tip is my smart tip that I promised that I'd share at the end of the video. And that is to surround yourself with positive people. It is very important to surround yourself with positive people. People who just exude positivity that 
make your soul happy, that light up the room when they walk in. These are the kind of people that you really enjoy being around. And did you know that you are probably that for some people? You are probably that person for some people in your own life. So that is why you need to make sure you're always keeping your bucket filled up with positivity because you never know when you'll be draining the bucket to give that positivity away to someone else who needs it. So yes, surround yourself with positive people. Thank you so much for watching my positivity video. I appreciate all of you. I hope you'll consider subscribing and I certainly hope you'll at least like this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you at my next video. Bye friends, love you.